Hi everybody, I'm Teresa. I'm David. We're kind of being sneaky because we are on our annual eagle watching weekend and we're camping at Wakanda State Park. That's going to be another video, but we just started. We're over here at the Mississippi River. I feel like I'm FBI. I'm going to flip this camera around. I'm going to show you. We were ju we've just been here five minutes. There's an eagle. There's an eagle. That's not an eagle. That's a goose flying. So every year, Dave and I, it's, it's an annual trip. We picked somewhere different. Last year, we were up at Alton. You want to look at the playlist? We had six videos come out of that weekend. We're, we don't think we're going to get six videos out of this weekend. We're going to run up to Keokuk and... There's some history up there, and we're just going to drive around the river. We have came out of a cold, cold, cold snap. We came out of that bomb cyclone. David has been in the MoDOT truck five nights, not in a row, but in the last two weeks. Well, since turn of the year. He's been. So we're just kind of relaxing. Really don't know how much video we're going to do, but <coughs> we did want to show you this, and we'll show you the river once we get going. We're at LaGrange, Missouri on the Mississippi River. We're eagle watching. This is so awesome. Check out this view down there. The very frozen Mississippi River. All right, we're heading north. We're gonna give you a drive through of the Mississippi River Park Campground. It's up here by the Lock and Dam. We've stayed here once. The thing that I remember about it is that there's a train track that runs right behind the campground. Oh, oh there's an eagle right there. I'm not going to put my window down because it streaks my windows. Well, it doesn't look like anybody's camping. Here's the train track. Whoa, they went up on a price. Whoa. Yeah. Daily rate is now $30. You can see that. Um, you, there's a telephone number to call. 573-288-4412. Reservations can be made at the Canton Police Department. So, as you can see, each side has a pad, picnic table. Some of them have fire rings. You do get right by the river. And the dam. And they have a playground. I'm gonna turn in here and just watch the, we're gonna just pull in here, Dave's eating. Let him eat, and we're going to watch. See this eagle going right in front of us? We'll see that. Two of them. Two of them. Keep moving. We're sitting at the Canton Lock and Dam. We found a tree that's full of eagles that they don't seem to mind that we're sitting right here.
There's the other one. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move on up to Keokuk. Welcome to Iowa. We are in Keokuk, Iowa. We're gonna show you what we're doing. We're really up here for eagle watching, but whenever we go camping or pull into an area that well, we've been up in Keokuk before, but we've never really taken time to find out about the history about it. Here's what we do. Dave, see the Clio app? Okay. Dave clicks on that. And then it comes up. We're at the Keokuk National Cemetery. Gee, Dave, for this, look how they still have the Reefs for America up. All right, Dave, go ahead and talk, and we'll walk at the same time. There's 155 cemeteries here. This cemetery was established in uh, 1862. Remains of 600 Union soldiers and eight Confederate prisoners of war. 2.75 acres uh, cemetery. This is really neat. Historical building was erected in 1870. And it placed on the National Historical Places map in 1997. All right, we're back in the car. Uh, while I was out taking pictures, I noticed that there was more across the road on the hillside. Like, it's amazing. Here. And then Dave's been reading and has found some more information. This cemetery originally, the city of Keokuk's Oak Cemetery, the first private was as buried here was Private Sullivan. And then after the battle of Shallow and here, that's when the government realized they needed to open up the National Cemetery Administration so they can start having national cemeteries at all the battlefields across the United States during the Civil War. All right, I'm going to flip this so you can see over up on top of the hill. We like uh, going to go see national cemeteries when we're in the area, just because, you know, that's the reason why we're here. People sacrifice their lives for our freedom. And even though we don't know anybody up here, we like to go and just read about the history of it all. Yeah, the ho there's some hotels and towns that was converted over to hospitals. There's five building there's five buildings used as hospitals. Wow. These are really old up here. Yeah. We just came right around and the road goes right in here. You can see how the fence is going around the Oakland Cemetery versus the National Cemetery with the yeah. fence over there. superintendent's house is that what you were just yeah that's what i was reading about from the original cemetery and they bought more tracks to add on to it after the war okay twenty seven of them unknown soldiers here Well, it doesn't really say, but here's about the National Cemetery here and the wrought iron fence built in 1871. Because after the war in 1866, they bar started buying more land for the, which is probably over there now. The original cemetery was over here on the west side of Oak Cemetery, from what I understand. The war in Keokuk was a staging and training ground for seven Union regiments. The first soldiers mustered at Camp Ellsworth in 1861. They had three different camps around town, between the Missis around the Mississippi River and Des Moines River. All the times that we've been in the Keokuk, here's that 
Hotel Estes that turned into a hospital. We're up here on top of the Mississippi River. We had a wash the Jeep in a car wash. We towed it down here over at, we're staying at Wakanda Lake State Park. You can see it's foggy, it's kind of misty, it's kind of rainy. But we're up here at uh, the Chief Keokuk Monument. He was a very famous in Native American in the beginning of the 19th century. He's known for diplomacy and being very friendly toward the Americans. The town of Keokuk is named after him. One more look at the river. As I pan back over here, I want y'all to see this. If you live in Keokuk, you guys got an awesome drive through Christmas display. Like we couldn't come through the park because the Christmas lights are still up. Look at the little water deal. All right, Dave's gonna meet me over at the other side of the park. We're looking for one more thing, except I don't exactly know what it is. Here's all the little cute Christmas lights and it is slick up here. Look at that. All right, I'm just walking through this park. Like I said, all the Christmas lights through their drive through display is still up. So they've got it shut where you can't drive through here. So David says there is a monument to a USS Maine in here somewhere. I'll give it a little bit of effort, but then I'm bailing. Look how pretty this is up here. All right. See, Dave, he jumped out. He's like, the memorial is over there, and I'm not walking all the way over there. But one good tip that we can give you is that when you go into some place that you don't know, get on that Clio app, find out what kind of historical places are in the area. We've been to Kia Cut probably four or five times. We're eagle watching, and we've never taken the time to check out the historic historical things that are around here. So we've had the most fun. We haven't even been down to the riverfront, but that's where we're headed to next, yep, aren't we, Dave? Yep. All right, let's go. Right off the corner of the water is where the, for the USS Maine. Yeah, that little water fountain is really neat. Yeah, I know. All right, we're heading out. We're down here at the riverfront in Keokuk, Iowa. We're coming over. There is a statue and a old steamboat. That is a river boat museum. Yep. We're going to pull in here. It's not open, but we're going to pull in here. Dave is going to read what he can find on it. You can sit here while he's reading and read the hours and the prices. I really wish that was open, but that's the price we pay when we do everything on off season is that most things we want to go. Well, not all things that we want to go see is closed, but some things that we would really like to go see is closed. So we'll come back another day. This, All right, Dave. This boat was built as the USS Thorpe in 1927 in Dubuque. And then it changed its name in 1930. It became official historic landmark in 1989. You know that that boat has some stories to tell. It's one of the four steamboats that ran up and down the Mississippi River from here to St. Louis. We're down, down here at the riverfront. There's a bunch of birds, and there's a goose sitting right there. non-senior 16. Still down here at the Kika Riverfront, we found a campground, camping and rec area, $14 a night for seniors, non-seniors is 16. 
past this little restaurant place? Boat club. Boat club? Maximum five days camping without approval from the city. And I think you have to go up and pay at the boat club up there. But just check this out. Electricity and water, they got numbers. And it's on the riverfront. If we knew about this, we may actually have stayed here. <clears throat> Didn't think about looking all the way up here. And there's something there for plug-ins for stuff, activities, I guess. For this. All right, we're going to go across the bridge, go do some eagle watching. We're out of the Jeep. We're walking across the municipal bridge that used to be a toll. There's where you... Now we can walk across and we're going to be able to observe the lock and dam. I found a little something here with some information. Uh, Keokuk was first inhabited by Native Americans. It was under the French and Spanish rule for almost 150 years. Southeast Iowa was included in the Louisiana Purchase in 1802. The Special Treaty in 1824 set aside the track of land for half-breed descendants of the Indians. The early economy was dominated by fur trading, and the steamboat industry served as a hub of its historic pride. Keokuk is 60 miles north of Hannibal, 15 minutes south of uh, historic Nauvoo, Illinois, and we are getting ready to go across the bridge, and we're going to see one of the most majestic parts of the Great River Road over there. All right, we're at the end of the observation deck. Lock and dam number 18 up here at Keokuk, Iowa. If you want to watch this live, they have a live cam on this. I've watched it before. There is no, uh, there's no barge traffic. The closest barges are down at Hannibal. We looked at the marine traffic app. That's kind of neat, huh, Dave? Yep. Look at this. End of the road. I wonder if you can walk in from the other side. Dot com, whatever. Well, look at there. What I was just talking about. The live stream. The camera is right there. Because well, I've seen this angle before. I was like, that live camera is close. You can see it's looking at the dam right now. See how, see how it's got the little globe it turns? Yep. See that little clear spot is aiming yep. right at the lock right now. All right, we're going across the bridge. We're going to go over and see if we can find some eagles. It is pretty misty and can't see very well, but we're going to give it a try. We'll see you on the other side. like and subscribe from here uh this is our key cook video of eagle watching we pick some place to go at least once a year in the winter we decide to go somewhere to go eagle watching we've done that for years and if we kind of like all of a sudden go oh like there's an eagle flying right over the tree line right now yep okay so we got to just put an end to this we are going to try to go farther there's another one yep. uh we're going to try to go above the dam uh, there is a little stretch of really scenic 
Great River Road up there. I'll probably add that video oh, in. The Illinois side. And we'll be back. Maybe we'll be back. Maybe this will be our like and subscribe. We'll see. The eagles are really thick up there by... See well, that's where the water comes out over there in the corner. Yeah. So it's stirring the water up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put, a, put an end to it now. But we may be back. There's another eagle. Yep. <laughs> that's a juvenile eagle. All right, uh, what do you think about Keokuk, Dave? Everything that we didn't even know about it. There's a lot of history in this town. And we didn't in realize. The Civil all War National Cemetery, I didn't really realize it was in this town. Yeah, we didn't really realize that the Civil War was such a prevalent thing here at Keokuk, Iowa. But uh, the National Cemetery's got a lot, lots of information. Yes, yeah, further North Cemetery and battle with Confederates from what I'd read. Yeah, and that uh, very interesting. I want to turn a little bit. Maybe y'all can see that. Uh, the very interesting Chief Keokuk yep. statue up in the park, yeah, Rand with Park. The with the treaties with the United States and stuff. And if you live anywhere near Keokuk, they look like they have an awesome Christmas light drive through display. That was pretty interesting. Yeah, Whoa. Uh, Rand Park. Yeah. Yep. This has been a lot of fun, Hannah Dave. Yes, it has. All right. You want to add anything else or? Not, nothing right now. We're on the ha Hamilton, Illinois side from Keokuk. Oh, yeah. And we're going to go upriver to get above the Lock and Dam and see if we can see any eagles up that way and uh, uh, the pool above 19. I meant to say when we first came on, welcome to Illinois. We've been in three states today. Yep. We started off in Missouri. We're camping at Wakanda State Park. So check out that. Really? Another eagle. Uh, another eagle. I'm just going to keep turning. Y'all going to get dizzy. Okay, there's just... <laughs> Eagles everywhere. Uh, Wakanda State Park over in Missouri. Wait until you see that video. Like, we're camping in the snow. Like, it's awesome. Um, not sure if we're going to have any more playlist, any other videos on this playlist out of this trip, but we'll see. Dave has found some Missouri conservation areas that he wants to go check out. So we might add a couple of free camping in Missouri videos to this playlist. If nothing else, Dave, Nothing else? Nothing I can think of. All right, America's beautiful. Get out and see it. Like, subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road.